Hello everyone, in this video we define the tech file to write an article in LaTeX. So, first of all, you need to open a new file and save it. Where you save is your working directory. Here, you can navigate through the file. I don't need this file, so I'm going to close it. Okay. First, let me show you the output, the output of this document. I click on this arrow close to quick build and I run. And this is the preview of the output. can see also from here but let me show you the PDF that is generated I go to my working directory and uh, LaTeX generate generates a number of files but we are interested only in this one the PDF let's open and this is the output so we have a title a subtitle our name, the asterisk here, we have some information, for example, university email, then we have the, the date, then we start uh, with the abstract, the words, uh, gel classification, and then we have the structure, introduction, main argument, so this is the first section, second section, this is a subsection, we have other subsection here, and this, for example, is conclusion. Everything is linked in this document. So, for example, we have, for example, section 2, section 2.1, section 2.12. If we click on this, for example, we jump to section 2, 2.1.2. Uh, also, the references are linked. So, for example, if we click here, we jump to the, to the reference. Uh, what else? Uh, here we have the bookmarks so we can navigate through the document for example let's jump to conclusion and that's it so this is the document that is generated i want to show you something let's go back to the main file now let's make a modification i want to change here uh, paper with article now I want to run again and as you can see we have an error the error this error is due to the fact that we didn't close the related pdf file so let's close it and let's run again and as you can see now we made the modification. I close this message box here. So before starting, uh, let's go on options, configure tech maker, and here, quick build. I said, uh, I check this box here, PDF LaTeX, PIB LaTeX, PDF LaTeX 2, uh, view PDF. Okay, so now let's go into the details of this document. First of all, at the beginning, we need to define the document class. Here, we want an article, so backslash document class article in the curly brackets. In the square brackets, we, uh, we include the options. So we, have, we want 11 points and we want a two-sided document. So this is the document class declaration to define the, the, layout, the, the layout. Next, we load the packages. So for this document, I use the geometry package to customize the layout. And these are the uh, options. Then I use the bookmark package to set the bookmark, the CS quotes for inline and display quotations. NatPib to customize a citation, 
then bibliography style AGSM. This sets uh, the bibliography style, and AGSM is an Harvard style output. The package graphics to import external graphics, uh, caption to customize ca captions, and fancy HDR to customize the header and footer. So, these are the packages needed for this document. Then I customize the page style. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do is to set the header and the footer here. As you can see, uh, by default, we don't have on the first page. So here, I use page style fancy, then fancy head, RO, then for uh, R for right side or for odd page, uh, LA, left side, uh, even page and this is the title introduction to LaTeX and if you want to write LaTeX as LaTeX we write with this uh, command here and as you can see this is page number two so it's even and we have an introduction to LaTeX on the left side LE if we go to the next page this is three so it's odd and we have an introduction to LaTeX on the right side R O. Then we define the uh, the footer here. So L E uh, comma R O the page. Here basically we are placing the number of the page. You can see here number two, number three. Then we can place the name of our university or the name of the journal. In this case, C E stand for centered. And then here, uh, lab time with R, I'm using the name here. And again, this, uh, this moves with the pages if it's uh, even or, uh, or odd. Then with the new command here, add rule width, I define here this, uh, the thickness of the, of the header and of the footer. So basically this, Command here define the page layout of the document. Now we are ready to write uh, the document. We need to write the document uh, between begin and end document. So, for example, here we type begin document, and you, you see we have already the environment with uh, the end document. And we need to write everything inside this environment. And as you can see, I already uh, I have already this um, environment. So I have a begin document here and end document here, and everything is inside. Okay, so. Begin document, first of all, title. Here, introduction to LaTeX, a double backslash to start a new line, a large to define the, the sides, and then how to write an article. This becomes our uh, subtitle. The order, this is our name, then this thanks here corresponds to this asterisk, and here. My university email and our email goes here. Then we have a date. And because this is a very preliminary document, I added very preliminary uh, double backslash today. This just uh, automatically update the date when we run the document. And then we set a backslash make title. Next step is to set the abstract. Again, begin abstract, and again, we can type begin abstract, and we have automatically end abstract. We need to place everything uh, inside. And I already is begin abstract, so I wrote here some, some words, then I added the keywords, and I use this environment here, curly brackets, backslash bf for uh, uh, bold font, uh, font here 
can see let me enlarge a bit and then i add uh, some keywords and i use the same uh, environment here for also gel classification then we can start to write our document and uh, we can define the structure because it's an article we start from section so we have section introduction and as you can see i i label the introduction with s for section colon intro and this is the label that i use when i want to refer to the section for example here i i wrote section uh, backslash ref uh, curly brackets as uh, column main and this one refer to this and as you can see this section the number two refer to this this one section 2.1 refer to this and this is section uh you can see backslash uh, ref curly bracket ss column math is this one so basically i label uh, all this uh, all this section now if uh, uh, we don't remember the section we can go here latex and as you can see there is a sectioning so we have a part chapter section subsection sub subsection paragraph and sub paragraph when uh, we will uh, see the the file to write a book we are going to use also part and chapter here we have also other useful information for example environment or list when we want to make uh, itemize we can use this environment here then we have for example international accent here international quotes footnote and so on okay so now next section I define this next section uh, i label it and now in this section i want to show you how uh, you can uh, cite your uh, references so first of all here we define the bibliography but we need to add the document that contains our bibliography and we use this backslash bibliography library now library is the name of my file that contains uh, all my bibliography let me show you this is the the file as you see library and this is this file here now this file is generated uh, by using mendeley desktop it's a, a software to manage the bibliography i think it's very very useful now as you can see these are all the kind of document this was example is an article this is our report another article for example this is a book and the first entry for example this one or this one this one are just the the label that we use to refer the document for example Simply this one, Baldwin, and uh, nineteen ninety three. Let's check it. Is this one, for example? So, is it this entry here? And these are all the information to produce the, the reference in the document. So let's see the output. If we use site and uh, in our label here, this is the output. So we have the other name and the year in parentheses. If we use a cited so with, a, with an additional T, we have the name and the, the order and the year in parentheses as before 
But if we add the page, we added the page here in the brackets, as you can see, the output, the output now is different. In the first one, we have everything in parentheses. So we have parentheses, uh, the orders and the, the page, the year and the page. In the second one, the order is out of parentheses. So in parentheses, we have only the year and the, and the page. Then, then we have also a site app. In this, in this, in this case, site app, we have the name of the order uh, and the year in parentheses. This one is another example with site only. So we have page and uh, order. And again, this is in parentheses. And then if we use a site app with this additional P, uh, I added two different uh, uh, references. And we have the first reference, comma, second reference. Okay, now uh, in this section, I'm just to show uh, just, just an introduction because basically we're going into details of each section. So, for example, next one is uh, how to write math. I will make a video and show you the details how to write math. So, now it's just uh, uh, just to give you some info. So this is a sub, sub uh, subsection. So I label here SS for S for sub and another S for section, colon math. So to write math, we need an environment. Basically, we can use uh, three different environment. So we have, if we want the equation to be in line, we use just uh, uh, dollar marks so one dollar mark and another dollar mark at the end we can generate this environment just clicking here or just clicking on the on the keyboard if we want the equation at uh, in the middle as uh, as in this example here we just need two double uh, dollar marks at the beginning at the end and this is the output. In this case here, uh, x underscore the curly brackets, uh, this set the uh, subscript. If we want to label the equation, for example, this is equation one, you can see from here, we need this environment, begin equation. So we have a begin equation and we have, and we have an end equation. Uh, again, we label. So label, uh, in this case, I'm using uh, EQ for equation, colon, one. And then we write our equation. In this case, this caret symbol and the curly bracket is for the superscript. Next section is Greek letters. So it's a sub sub section. So I'm going to use SSS colon Greek. And I write this new environment, begin equation, I label uh, EQ colon Greek. Uh, by the way, be careful here. We cannot use the same label for two different uh, references. So uh, this is the reason why I use this SS uh, colon and EQ colon before the name, the, the main name, because if I used Greek and Greek here, we would have basically a, an error. So here are Greek letters. So uh, this is beta, so backslash beta underscore zero. And in this sense, I'm writing this one, beta zero. So note now that I'm not using the curly bracket. So in this case, it works the same, so plus uh, beta underscore one, beta one plus these three central dots are generated by backslash c dots plus and then i have a beta underscore in this case i'm using again the curly brackets if we have for example two digits as in this case we have 12 if we don't use the curly brackets only the first digit will be uh, as a subscript okay for the greek letters we can go here structure and here 
we have all the Greek letters. For example, if we are in this environment here and I want lambda, I can just click here lambda. We have also other uh, information, for example, here we have relation symbols, we have arrow symbols here. This was miscellaneous symbols. Then we have delimiters. This is where Greek letters. These are most used symbols, parent symbols. Uh, this left, right for parentheses. We have this one and so on. Let's close it. Now, uh, next section is fraction. Again, I'm labeling the section and writing the environment for the equation. And uh, for the fraction, we need this backslash frac, curly brackets for numerator, curly brackets for denominator. If we don't remember, we can just click here. Frac. We have also helpers from here, math. We have all this information. For example, frac, that is for the square, uh, square root, left, right, math functions, and so on. So let's jump now to the next section, okay, how to insert images. I think that my next video will be on how to insert images into, in details. So here, as you can see, I also labeling the, the figures because here I'm referring to this label here. You can see here, and I'm using uh, FIG for figure. So we need the environment, again, begin figure, centering to center the figure, caption for the title. If we place the caption below include graphics, we move the title below uh, the images here this is the label and then we need include graphics now scale is to control for basically the sides of the of the figure and this is the name of the figure this is this name here then i have another figure here and as you can see in this case i'm not using the 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 option scale so these figures, as you can see, covers more space in the page. And then, as you can see here, I have images slash here, the name of the figure. The reason is because in this case, I, I place the figure in this folder called images. So basically, I'm writing the path from uh, where this file, this LaTeX file is located to where the figure is located. When uh, we will see how to write a book, I will discuss more in detail how to organize the, the files. Now let's go to how to build tables. Let me enlarge. Here. Yeah. No. We need begin table as the environment to write our table centering caption label as before so now in this label i'm using tab colon then we need uh, another environment here begin tabular this is to define the the real structure of the table so here l c c c basically this means first of all that we have four columns one column second column third column fourth column L stands for left align and C for centered. So as you can see here, we have a first column, second column, a third column, and fourth column. And as you can see here, Italy and Germany are left aligned, while Rome, Berlin, and the numbers here are centered. This uh, vertical bar define this vertical line here. If we place a vertical line here and a vertical line here, we place a vertical line here and a vertical line here. So begin tabular. Here I want to place an horizontal line and I use this uh, backslash uh, edge line. Then 
for the name of the column members the first, first column now we need to place this end here to to delimit the first and the second column so basically this is the delimiter so capital for the second column and for the delimiter so we start the third column population and the gdp is the last column now we need here to backslash to start a new line before starting a new line i want to place another line here so underscore h line so this is now the new row italy and again here uh, this end rome and 60 and 2000 and we define this uh, this row here now this double backslash and we start the the new row germany and berlin and 80 and 4000 and then i want to conclude with the two with a double row and i just place uh, uh, backslash each line twice then uh, end tabular and end table and this is the table here at the beginning is a little bit confusing but again we have some helper so if we write begin table and then here wizard quick tabular and we can write our table here for example let's say four columns three row so column one we want let's say left let's say that we don't want it column two is a centered let's say that here we want both and it, we have one to line and so you can see this is changing here okay so we can control for example here three right and as you can see this change for example here this this one we can move it known and so on this right left border right border and this control for the rows basically when we have decided just click ok and here it's the structure we have just to fill in in a way after you get used with you don't use this anymore okay so we are here at the end this is section for conclusion this is the file bibliography and this end document and that's it so this is the first introductory video in the next video we are going into details i hope this is useful and if you enjoyed this video see you in the next one